All right, everybody, Skyhook Garage here. Got a uh, 99 Chevy Tahoe, 5.7 liter. It's got the P1345 code. Check engine light right there. Okay, Let's see if we can pull it up on the scanner. 1345. CKP CMP correlation problem crankshaft camshaft correlation problem uh, Camshaft is in the distributor crankshaft is out on the motor and uh, The issue we're having is they're not jiving up to what the computer thinks they should be so What we need to do is You need to go back out and this is on a snap-on Solus Ultra It's going to be the same for any snap-on scan tool that you use Let's See if we can go out go out to data display now, I don't know if the uh, the aftermarket scan tools are really going to show you this info. It's kind of hard to find it. What you're looking for is you're looking for the cam retard uh, degree uh, reading. And uh, it can be kind of misleading. Uh, you, If you look in engine data on this scan tool. All right. And we come down to page down. There we go. One more. Come on. All right, you can see knock retard right there, and that's at zero, okay? That's not the reading you want. It's very misleading. Spark degree, what it's automatically adjusting to, and then you have knock retard, and knock retard's not the one you want. It being here is completely pointless. It shouldn't be here. That should say cam retard, and I'm not saying the scan data is wrong. The scan data is right. It is reading the knock retard, but the cam retard is, is a much more pertinent number you want to look for. And, uh, you know, when the knock retards here, it's, it's a bad, it's very misleading. So you want to back back out, all right? And you're going to go to EVAP and EGR data. All right, so there's our first list, not in there. Let's go down one list. Uh, let's see, not in there. One more. And, nope, not there yet. Try another one. And still not there. One more. Ah, there we go. CMP retard. Whoa, negative 24. Holy crap. All right, so there's our problem right there. As you can see, cam retard, negative 24. That number right there should be plus or minus 2 degrees. No more, no less. Okay? On the older Chevy 350s and any of the Chevy motors this goes for, they have the TBI or... Um, the SFI with the spider setup. If you, uh, you got the distributor on there, you can always find that cam retard and you'll get that 1345 if it's not, if it's anything over two degrees or it's under negative two degrees. And at negative 24, being that this is the SFI, that distributor can't be adjusted. It has grooves on the distributor housing that won't let you turn it once you loosen that uh, hold down bolt. So what we're going to have to do is at negative 24, that tells me it's at least a tooth off. Okay, so we're going to get back out there, pull that distributor out, turn it one tooth um, advanced, and uh, see if I can get that number closer to uh, where it should be. Zero, hopefully. But that's what you want to do. All you're going to do is, I love how this doesn't autofocus. Going to get down in there. All right. Get down in there, the hold down bolt should be a 13 millimeter. Take that bolt out, make sure you get the cap off, and then uh, we're gonna turn this uh, tooth one, one, uh, one degree, or uh, one tooth over, and uh, see what we get on the, uh, the number. So, we'll get that turned, and uh, we'll be right back.